Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White version. In the last episode, we fought with our rival Bianca once again, and she gave us the HM move Fly, which allows us to fly back to any place we've currently visited, like Driftvale City, which I'm going to go to right now, so we can just go and heal, which I probably should have done off screen. Well, well I'm showing you the fact that we have this HM now, so there. Anywho's, we've been traveling on Route 6 very, 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 very slowly. But we're getting there. We're gonna we're gonna go find Clay, get that TM he owes us, and then we're gonna keep going. This is gonna be a fun cave for Alfonso, I'll tell you that. Alfonso's gonna love this cave. He's just gonna be like, oh my god. Cave of Wonders. Touch nothing but the lamp. Anywho's. How are you all doing today? Hope you're having a great day, and if not, I hope it does get a little bit better for you. Hope this video can help you at least unwind a little bit from your daily stress, or just to be something entertaining to pass the time. I appreciate it either way. Anywho's, just kind of small chat with you all, just because you guys are awesome and that good jazz. And that's Pokemon Bayless 1. Here's a deer lane. Sabbath's in front. <laughs> Let's get frustrated about everything for some reason. For no reason, really. Alright, Sabbath, thank you. And getting close there. And now we're doing the golf game. KV walks carefully through the grass as snow falls very gently onto Route 6. KV walks very closely to the scientist person. He's already fought this scientist person, so there will be no interference from them. But this scientist person may cause a problem. And so KV runs up, begins the battle with the scientist lady. She gives her name, she's challenged by scientist Maria. She sends out a deer leg. And KV gets right to it because Sabo's here to wreck some butts. Doing some research on your dealing, I see. Congratulations, here's a research. It's called, why did you do that? I mean, I get why you did that, but also, bye. Psh, thanks, Sabo. I know some people don't really like the elemental monkeys from these games, but I kinda, uh, Sabo's grown on me. I kinda, I kinda like him. I like him, at least. I'm not sure about, Simipore especially, is, has this really, like, it's, it's interesting design, but it's like, one of those designs that's like, this Pokemon needs to have a set, it, it, I, well, it's interesting. I'll say that. And that is actually a Pokemon that I just talked to. It is a Fungus. Fungus look like Pokeballs. So you're like, oh boy, an item. And then it's like, oh, no, it's just a Fungus. So that's what they're all about. And it's gone. Fungus is poison type. Well, fire is super effective on poison type for reasons I don't know. Poison's flammable, I guess. That's probably the reason. But we got a Leaf Stone. Whoa, well, if we had a uh, Pant Sage, we could use it. Let's give it to Bianca. She could use it. So actually, you... Uh, let's start out with uh, Harvey. I say as I put Lily in front. Hello there! Yes, I would like to play on this puddle. How many Pokemon do you have? A lot? Okay, two. Wait, wait, Tihana? Tihana. Oh, a Vanillite? Oh, okay, so I guess Saba would have been the better choice. My goodness gracious. Oh, uh, but we have Lily. Okay, I thought I had I had picked Harvey for some reason, but it's fine. Ice types are good against flying types, so that would be a good thing for us to have. An ice type move would be a good thing for us to have again as well for uh, the upcoming gym. I've given it away as what the upcoming gym is. And Frillish is a water type, so... Billy? Frillish looks cool, though. I do like its design. Especially when it becomes its, its evolved form, whatever it's called, I forget. Frillish also has uh, two different uh, uh, appearances. It has a male appearance, which is uh, a blue... Oh, right. Okay. As Which is a blue uh, version, and then the female version, which is the pink version. So, very cute. Oh, right, because it's part ghost. Normal attacks don't work on ghost-type Pokemon. Duh. 
I'm a dumb. I'm sorry, Billy. I was a dumb. I needed to take the fall for it. Be strong for me, Billy. Alright, well, that's taken care of. Now, I guess, put Renault in front. Let's just put Renault in front. Uh, I lost, but I had a battle, so I'm sad side. Okay. If only politicians could be like that. That got dark, I'm sorry. That got really dark, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I like how that guy still keeps walking while we're getting in the middle of starting a battle. <gasps> a vanilla? Oh, wait, we've caught one before. I'm done. I'm like, oh my gosh, a vanilla! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You already have one of these. Strangely enough, fighting type moves are strong against uh, ice type Pokemon. I'm not sure why, but they are. Go figure. But it worked, so. Bye, Vanilla. Thanks for the experience, Renault. The Bank of Renault thanks you. Alright, so this guy's gonna be like, right here, because he was still walking. <gasps> I will show you how inject I've come just by being here. Yeah, jogging this grass in the snow. Good plan, me. Richard! I'm in Chino! So Chino's little chinchilla Pokemon we saw at the very beginning of the game. Professor Juniper showed us one of them. And Renault's gonna be like, hey buddy, have you seen my water pulse? It's pretty impressive. Oh, guess it wasn't that impressive because he's still still out there, but Swift, what ups? What as on Swift? Fury Cutter. Oh what? I'm on to you. You think I'm not on to you, but I'm on to you. Alright. Let's get some revenge. Get out of here. Probably was not worth it, but what else? Uh, Amolga! Oh my gosh. Well, we know who to use for that. Leave it to Alfonso. When Electric-type Pokémon come out, Alfonso takes the lead! Leave it to me! He says as he can't actually do any major damage on it, but he can just basically be immune to all Electric-type attacks. That's kind of it. Alright, Crunch. Nicely done, Alfonso. Nicely done. Okay, really? Really? We're gonna do this? We're gonna do this? Because I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Seriously? Okay, so basically the AI is like, okay, I'll just keep using double teams so it can't ever hurt me. And then sometimes we'll get lucky. But usually it's just they can't ever hurt me and they just keep using it. And you're just like, why are you doing that? Just using a freaking attack at this point. You can beat me because I can't hurt you whatsoever. It's very annoying, actually. Wait, nature! You can't teach me anything at all. You just, you just yell nature at me. Thank you, but... It heals paral paralysis, so I hope they become energetic if they are already paralyzed. Thank you, Mother Nature. Okay. That is a Pokemon. Well, I am the fool. Hi, Fungus. How's it going? This is probably been the longest time we've been on a route. Uh, maybe... No, no, this is the longest time we've been on a route. Pretty dang sure. Which is hilarious, because Route 6 actually isn't that long. I think Route 3 is longer, but that was at the earlier, the early bit of the game, and you could just kind of mosey on through. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, we were, we were, we were on Route 4 for a while. I mean, we technically were going to other places that weren't just Route 4, but we were on Route 4 for a while. So I guess it's the even-numbered routes that are problematic for some reason. Are you? Seriously? Did you see that? Did you see that? That was... That was... That that was not nice, is what that was. Um, no. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. What are you, wacko? No, I'm wacko! <laughs> oh, freakazoid. Okay, so we have anything in our bag? We have that one super potion, I take it, right? Oh, we have three. 
Why I think I only had one. Okay. Now we're fine. Alright, hiker. How's it going? Oh. Short Stone Cave seems like complicated maze, but actually, it's a straight road. Thank you for that uh, advice. Hey, right, what's here? Trainer tips! You can ride sure. Okay. I knew that. Hey, buddy! Here on Route 6 is a place called Mistrelton Cave. Supposedly, deep in that cave, you can find an amazing Pokemon called Kobalion, who is said to have protected Pokemon from a sea of fire in ancient Unova. If you can use a move called Surf that lets you move over the water's surface, maybe you can see Kobolion. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that until, like, very later, I think, endgame. And also, I'm just going to point this out, Kobolion is fighting Steel? Ring of Fire? Um, no? Steel melts in fire, buddy. Your legend's dumb and wrong, probably. Maybe not dumb, but just wrong. Every time. Every time I actually go like, I'm use healing items. There's a place for me to get healed. Good job, me. It's about the season to go to Celestial Tower on Route 7. I have to ring the bell for my palittle. Oh. Oh. Is that... Is, is it... Is it... Is the trash can empty? <laughs> Hi. Mister, here, have this! Hooray! It was random. Okay, what does that do again? I don't even know what a shiny stone does. And the girl's like, goes, have it. <laughs> just, just have it. I want it. It can make certain Pokemon evolve. Right, it's an evolution stone. Okay, well, thanks, kid. Okay, well, there's more Pokemon stuff over there. Uh, I'm pretty sure the cave in question is up here. I don't... Well, we have a healing spot, so let's... We'll, we'll risk... We'll risk some exploration here. Oh, whoa. Two car blasts! Oh no! Go Renault and Billy! The dream team is here, ladies and gentlemen. The dream team. Alright, everybody. Here we go! Renault and Billy together at last. Feel like cool, like cheerleading poses with each other. Oh my gosh, put in the sleep? Wow. Okay then. Well, that's uh. Oh. That ability lets it wake up. Okay, that's cool. But you're gonna go bye bye, so. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Puts it to sleep again anyway. Dream team. Dream team. Dream team. Okay. That's a dead end. Well, that is just lovely. Go this way. Yes, dearling. Renault today is gonna be like, you know what, buddy? You know what? It's snowing out. Ho, ho, ho. It's September. At least it is when I'm recording this. But at this point, it's probably still gonna be September. Now that, now that episodes are finally going up. And finally, I mean, <laughs> episode 20 has gone up by this point. I'm... <laughs> I'm stupid. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, dearling! Because it's like, it's a... It's deer, it's like a reindeer. Get it? Christmas. Snow egg. <laughs> What about Halloween? We don't talk about that holiday. We just don't talk about it. It goes summer ends, and then Christmas prepare time. There's no Halloween, there's no Thanksgiving. We just skip right to the good stuff. In, in case you're wondering, KV is not a big fan of Halloween, and especially Thanksgiving. That dearling sure took a lot of damage out of Renault, so we're just gonna... Just gonna... We're just gonna... Yeah, thank you. What's hilarious is that you can talk to people again, it's like, Oh, your Pokémon looks super tired! We just woke up from a nap. That you gave us, by the way, ma'am. But they still look tired, so it's sleep for eternity. Sleep for eternity. 
All right, dream team, dream team. Oh, a dealing and a car blast. Interesting, interesting. All right, Billy. I got the card blast, you got the deer like You got it, Mr. Renault. Uh, we're like, we're like on the same side, don't need to call me that. I call everyone by their polite surnames, because that is how I am. I am the polite Pokemon, Billy the Adino. Alright, Billy, I trust you on that. No problem, Mr. Renault. Ow. A bug hit its head at me. I got this, Mr. Renault. Just let me hit, finish up this yearling. Yeah, don't worry. The bug's gonna be gone anyway. Alright. But if you need any help, Mr. Renault, I'm here for you. That's Billy. That's Billy. Really? He didn't use it on Renault? I, wait, wait. <laughs> he did use it on Renault. What am I saying? Didn't use it on Billy, because Billy's technically normal type. That would have done more damage to Billy, so that wild dealing is kind of dumb. Sorry. Alright, let's just do up here. Great. Wait. That's just a different way to get up here. I was gypped. That's just another way to get up here. <laughs> I thought I was being cool and exploring, but I guess not. No, I went down there already. I'm not going back down in there. Alright, alright. So, if we go our Pokemon, I want to put uh, Alfonso in the front, actually, for one specific reason, and that is because of this cave we're going to, Charstone Cave. Dang it! I was like, can I go heal really quick? Just really quick. Ah. Ice types are weak to ground, right? Right? Alfonso? Right? Moment of truth? No. No, they're not weak to ground tomb. <laughs> they're not weak to ground tombs. Wow. Wow. Slur of the words. Slur of the words. Alright, bye Vanilla Light. You're adorable, but bye. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's Moxie went off. There's, no, there's nothing left. I'm strong! There's nothing left. I'm strong! But there's nothing left to fight. I'm strong! Okay, 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 I get it. You're strong. You get it. Okay, hi. Can I have that free heal again? That'd be lovely. Thank you. Okay, so. I think we've been having those longer episodes a lot, so... What we're gonna do is we're gonna just stop right here in front of this web thingamajig, and I will see you all next one for when we actually go inside of Charged Stone Cave, our first actual like dungeon area that we're actually have to like navigate. So thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon White version. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button below. And if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Pokemon White. And black versions are available on Nintendo DS family of systems. If you like what you see here, you can go give them a pickup and uh, have a fun time for yourself, to especially to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, right before the release of Sun and Moon this November. Otherwise, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, ciao!